I got diagnosed with androgenetic alopecia and my hair was very thin, it was very dry, it was really brittle. You could see my scalp. It was one of the most depressing times. When I tell you, my hair has never been this thick since my hair loss started. Hello, I am in a super good mood because the sun is shining. And this is the first video I've done, like not in the night time, so. This video, I wanted to create a concise summary of everything that has worked for me in my hair loss journey. If you don't know who I am, my name is Iman, hello. I have been suffering from female pattern hair loss for quite some time. Over the past year, it's really improved. My hair loss journey goes through the whole journey of my hair loss and how I have been able to improve the quality of my hair. But I wanted to make something that was more concise, a summary of everything, so you have it in one place and a good reference to go to. I look at empirical studies to show that what I'm doing is effective because I don't like gimmicks. This is a holistic way to treat hair loss, attacking it at all angles. I want to caveat it with it's not going to work for everyone and this is just my journey, this is just what has worked for me. So this is a five step approach. The first thing that has really helped me and that is the derma roller. So I use the derma roller, it's a 0.5mm titanium derma roller. If you want to know how to use the derma roller, I did a dedicated video on that. The derma roller is the goat of all hair loss solutions, it's amazing. It creates micro tears in the scalp, induces collagen, stimulates hair growth and it also increases the absorption of any serums that you put on your scalp. Which leads me on to my favorite, which is hair oils, which is super important. So number two is rosemary essential oil and peppermint essential oil. These amazing herbs have been proven to stimulate hair growth. And actually, rosemary oil has been proven to be as effective as minoxidil, but without the side effects. Check out my oil video, I go in depth into how these oils work, how often to use them, and why you should be definitely adding these to your anti-hair loss regimen. Check out the video up there. So I mix these essential oils with a proprietary blend of cold pressed organic oils and I'm actually looking to launch my very own hair growth elixir. So if you are interested in getting your hands on a bottle of that, make sure to sign up in the link in the description. You can also mix these essential oils with argan oil or jojoba oil, but they don't have to be that specific oil. You can put them in any carrier oil of your choice. So I use these oil mix straight after using the derma roller, but I also like to do overnight treatments at least three times a week. It not only helps to stimulate hair growth, but it really does improve the quality of your hair as well. So my hair is super dry, super brittle, um, and it's these overnight treatments have really been helping me. With one and two, you have to be so persistent, so patient, and consistent. I think I just said that. Did I just say that? I don't know. <laughs> All of the studies, it's about the six month mark before they start to see any significant results. And for me, I didn't really see results six, seven, eight, nine, even nine months after because your hair is so slow to take any changes to it because of the hair growth cycle. The hair growth cycle is a very slow process, so you have to be so patient and don't give up. Stick with it and I promise you it's gonna definitely make an improvement to your hair. The third step is equally as, as important as the other steps and this is cleansing. You have to cleanse your scalp. I did a dedicated video on scalp health, so if you want to check it out. So there are two parts to this, and cleansing is really important because firstly you want to get rid of any dead skin cells that are blocking the hair follicles from growing. You also want to help to stimulate blood flow. So both the derma roller stimulates blood flow. The essential oils, peppermint and rosemary, they are both blood flow stimulants. So blood flow is so important to hair loss. That is the key. So back to what I was saying, sorry. <laughs> so there are two parts to this. So there's exfoliating and shampooing. So exfoliation, you want to use natural ingredients. I use coffee granules because it stimulates blood flow and it also helps to stimulate hair growth. But you can use any sort of natural exfoliant. You wanna do this once a week. Second is a non-sulfate shampoo, but also a shampoo that has two ingredients that actually help with hair loss. So I use Waterman's shampoo. 
I did a video about the best shampoo for hair loss. So if you want to know and dive in a little bit more deeper into that topic, check out my video up there. So Watermint is great because it has two ingredients, rosemary essential oil, which we've already spoken about, but also niacinamide. And there was a study to show that niacinamide actually helped female hair loss. You can actually just use any sulfate free shampoo. If you've bought the rosemary essential oil, you can actually add a few drops of the essential oil to your shampoo. That's another great way to incorporate rosemary essential oil into your cleansing routine. So number four and five is diet and supplement. So for my diet, I eat a lot of protein. Protein is really important for hair growth because it's the building blocks of your hair. You wanna aim to eat about one gram of protein for every kilogram of weight. So I weigh about 65 kilograms, so I eat 65 grams of protein and I eat a lot of white meat, so chicken, turkey, beans, peanut butter. If you're vegan and vegetarian, you can get them from nuts and legume seeds. I eat about three to five eggs a week. Eggs are great. And if you're vegetarian, you can eat a lot of green leafy vegetables. I eat a ton of green leafy vegetables. I'm trying to do one bag of spinach a day. I also have moringa, spirulina, wheatgrass. They are really rich in iron. So iron is one of the biggest factors of hair loss in women. I also take saw palmetto supplements, which blocks DHT, which is another hormone that helps to miniaturize hair. So those kind of supplements are good. I also take niacin supplements. So niacin supplements is vitamin B3 and it makes you flush. It opens up your capillaries and it stimulates blood flow. And as I mentioned before, blood flow is really important. <laughs> I've had a few comments from people about my before picture. So some people have asked why my before picture is of a middle parting but my after picture is of my side parting. So my hair has always been in a side parting. I literally haven't changed my hairstyle at all. So my before picture actually, if you look at it, isn't a middle parting, it's a side parting and that's how bad my hair loss was. I want to show you guys my middle parting so you can see what it looks like and see the difference between my before and now. So I've recently dyed my hair black. It's really, really improved. But when I tell you my hair has never been this thick since my hair loss started, the quality of my hair has really improved and it's just got so much thicker, way healthier, and I haven't had this much hair. So I can show you guys how much hair thickness. This is like, it might seem not a lot to you, but to me it's massive. Like I would say about a year ago, my hair was like this thickness. And now I've really, really improved my hair and the quality of my hair and it's more shinier, it's more healthier. It's more manageable, it's less dry. I mean, it's still dry, but it's getting better. And I think trying to attack hair loss from all of those angles is gonna be the best way to get results. And I don't believe in harsh chemicals, I don't believe in pills, and I think nature has all of the answers. The big pharmaceutical companies do not want you to know that. So why not try a natural method to try and beat hair loss? rather than going for minoxidil or finished dry or hair transplant. I don't think I could ever do a hair transplant. But you guys have requested to do, you guys have requested for a PRP treatment and if that's something you guys are interested in, I definitely want to try it out. So if you guys want me to test it out, do let me know in the comments. If a lot of you have requested it, then I'll definitely do it. And if you're watching this and you are not subscribed, please subscribe, join the community. We're gonna inspire, we're gonna empower each other, we're gonna support each other. You are not suffering from hair loss alone. It's important to share my journey because I think it would be selfish of me not to share it and show you guys what has worked for me because it could work for you and I'm really hoping it does work for you. And if there's anything you guys want me to do a video on next, please let me know. And if you want good luck for the rest of your life, don't forget to smash that like button. It helps me so much and I will be very, very grateful.